Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your Mac. So let's get started. On the top left hand side of your screen, you're going to see the Apple logo. Just tap on it and you're going to see your second option where it says system preferences. Now, back in the day, we used to do all our updates all the way here in the App Store. So that's your third option, the App Store. That's where we do our updates from before. But as long as your Mac is not too old or you have been updating it kind of recently, then you should see your system updates right here under system preferences. So let's just tap there. Now, once you open this up, I'm just going to zoom in. You're going to see on the left hand side, software update, just tap there. And then you should see something like so. So if you're not getting anything here, it's just telling you that it's already up to date. Well, your Mac might not be able to handle the latest update. However, if it does, if it's not that old, then go ahead and change this up. So you see this down here where it says automatically keep my Mac up to date. Well, just put a check mark there, then take it off. And you can also mess around with that bands options in there. Refresh those things and then you should see the update. If you're still having problems, just restart your Mac and you should be good to go. Now, just a quick warning. I don't recommend running any updates if you're in the middle of doing something. So if you're not done a project or anything like that, don't do any updates. Do them right after you're done. I also highly recommend using Time Machine to back up your Mac. So right here is my Time Machine. I have a separate video that talks about that, but Time Machine is something pre-built into your Mac so you can trust it. But anyways, as I mentioned before, we can click on View More and we can see that it's only a gig. So it's going to be very, very small. Let's just tap on Install now. Agree. And that's it. So downloading time does depend on how much the download speed is for your own personal internet. Or if you're downloading a bunch of other stuff, then this will take longer. For those of you with high internet speed, this could take seconds. And then the installation is actually what takes a little bit more. So. For most of you, I don't think this will take more than 10 minutes. Some of you, less than five. For me, at this point in time, I'm not streaming too much. So this should go pretty fast, the one gig. But once again, I am streaming and I'm downloading some stuff. So that's why I'm not going to get the fastest internet speed at the moment. At this point in time, you could leave your Mac just to be. It's just going to restart by itself. If you are keeping an eye on your Mac, you will see on the top right hand corner, there's going to be this countdown like for a few seconds and then it's going to restart. Right after the restart, you're just going to see an Apple logo, a loading bar, and then you're going to be done after that. So as mentioned, you would see a countdown on the top right hand side of your screen. However, if you cancel that for any reason, you can just hit restart now by yourself and then you're going to just see the restart happen. Black screen, Apple logo and a loading bar. So as mentioned, after you see the Apple logo and loading bar, just a little bit after, you're going to see this. Your Mac is all up to date. It just restarted everything. Hopefully went OK with you guys. However, that's always why I suggest doing that backup using Time Machine, which again, it is under system preferences, just to quickly show you again. But here it is. I have a completely different video that talks about Time Machine, but you should take advantage of it and get yourselves an external hard drive if you care about your information. Anyways, as far as this video goes, we're all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.